Meghan Markle and the Duchess of Cambridge may have had difficult times but the real tension could be between Prince Harry and Prince William, a royal expert has claimed. Meghan Markle received her first ever royal patronages this week, with the Queen passing down one of her own patronages. Keir Simmons, a senior international correspondent for Today, claimed the move to hand Meghan four patronages was a sign of strong support from the Queen. Mr. Simmons also hit back at reports of a feud between Meghan Markle and the Duchess of Cambridge, adding the real tension is between William and Harry. He said, this has been a tough few months for the Duchess of Sussex. Criticized often by anonymous sources in British newspapers. Hopefully, these announcements are a sign of strong support from the Queen herself. Meghan was all smiles over Christmas, knocking down rumors of a rift between her and Kate. Meghan and Kate even said to have enjoyed a game of Scrabble together on Christmas Day. He added, I am not saying there haven't been difficult times in the palace behind me there. But, I think at times it has been exaggerated by some newspapers. Maybe, just maybe, the real tension is between William and Harry. Which, leaves you wondering, what would Diana say? The Queen has passed two patronages to the Duchess of Sussex as she seeks to step back from royal duties. The Duchess of Sussex will take on the responsibilities as the patron of the National Theatre and as patron the Association of Commonwealth Universities ACU. Meghan will also become a patron for Smart Works which helps unemployed and vulnerable women by giving them skills and confidence to succeed in job interviews, and Mayhew which helps animals in need through education initiatives and preventative veterinary care. A statement on the palace's website said, The Duchess is delighted to become patron of both national and grassroots organizations that are part of the fabric of the UK, and is very much looking forward to working with them to bring wider public attention to their causes. Her Royal Highness feels she can use her position to focus attention on and make a particular difference to these organizations and, more widely, the sectors they each represent. Director of the National Theatre, Rufus Norris, said, I would like to thank the Queen for Her Majesty's long and unwavering support and service to the National Theatre. We were honored when the Queen became our patron in 1974 and have celebrated many moments together including, in recent years, the Diamond Jubilee and the marking of our 50th anniversary. It is a privilege to welcome the Duchess of Sussex as our new patron. The Duchess shares our deeply held conviction that theatre has the power to bring together people from all communities and walks of life. I very much look forward to working closely with Her Royal Highness in the years to come.